Hi, my name is Manoj Krishna. I'm a spine surgeon. And today I'm going to introduce a patient of mine who's had uh, neck pain for a number of years. Um, as you can see on this MRI scan, there are three discs in the middle which are worn and they're bulging at the back. And um, on a cross section across one of these levels, you can see on one side, particularly on the left side, that the disc is bulging. She had neck and arm pain for a number of years. And uh, this is her x-ray where you can see um, that there are reduced disc heights at C4, 5, 5, 6, and 6, 7. We treated her with uh, cervical disc replacement surgery where an artificial disc is put into the disc space. There's a transverse scar across the front of the neck. Uh, here's Beverly in her own words. Okay, good morning, Beverly. Hiya. So, how old are you, darling? 44. Okay. And... Uh, Tell me a story about uh, your neck and, and pain. And it started several years ago, you said? Yeah, several years ago. I um, mean, it was just getting worse with time. I just couldn't move. I, I just ached, you know, doing things. I couldn't do things. What are the sort of things you, could, you couldn't do? Well, but if, I, if I was going to saw, like, lift things, bending down, you know, things, all tension in, in my neck all the time. It was just painful when I woke up on the morning. The pain, pain was there, getting out of bed, across my shoulders, and it was just, it was just permanently there. Uh, were you on painkillers? Yes, what? yeah, I was taking paracetamol just practically all the time, and ibuprofen, but it would take maybe the edge of it, but... The, you know, the pain was, it made the pain a little bit bearable. Okay. And over the years you had physiotherapy and... Mm, yes, And yeah. would that help for a while? For a while, but it was still, it was just still there all the time. And I had a little one as well, so that was making it hard to do things, you know. So I was just basically just... And your sleep, was your sleep affected by yes, this pain? Yes, yeah. Definitely couldn't sleep when I went to turn over in bed, that woke me up. You know, I couldn't turn over. Um, started to go like into my shoulders as well, and go down. You know, I could, as if it was going down my back as well. Yes, and I think in May last year, or May or yeah, it got worse, didn't it? It did, yeah, yeah. So I had to go to the doctors, and then he came referred. to see me. So the MRI showed you had three levels which were affected, and we operated in May last year. So yes, now you're did, yeah. twelve months from surgery. Oh, yeah, yeah. So talk me through the surgery and how you recovered, and then we'll ask how you are now. Yeah, and the surgery went fine. Actually, it was a lot better than what I thought it would be. Obviously, you know, I had a little decision here, um, here for a little bit. You know, the stitches, the stitching, that, that didn't bother me. Um, you came out of hospital the next day? I did, yeah. Next day, yes, my, my throat was a little bit sore, but I expected it to be a lot worse, and I wasn't at all... Um, just carried on, you know, eating soft things. Okay. It just, it was just like having a bit of tonsillitis for a day or two. How long did it take you to recover from the surgery? Um, oh, taking away, obviously, after you've had the stitches out and everything, then the healing process, maybe about, maybe about a month. Month, maybe for me going into two months, if, if I'm honest. Okay. But that was I was having physio. You had some physio. As well, yeah. The pain wasn't there, but I think you you still tend to like do this. Yes. You're frightened to to move it because this is what you do all the time. Um. But yeah, you know the pain did go after obviously the operation. Didn't feel any pain at all. And now you're twelve months from surgery. Yeah. And how much better do you think you are overall? Oh, ninety five percent better. You know, it's, it's just, I can move when I'm dry, I can drive, you know, I can turn. Um, it's just loads better. You're off all your painkillers? Yes, off all the painkillers. And yeah. I think you just get a bit of stiffness. And That's it, yeah, yeah. But sometimes my posture, you know, when I'm a physio, she should be to Sandra Brighton. I think it's just maybe refreshing myself with, um, you know, the physiotherapy, you know, what she's going back to doing the exercises again. But no, no, it's better. Just, I, I forget about it. You know, it's not like I've had surgery okay. now. It's just... And let's have a look at your scar because it's really hard to see. Yeah, yeah. I think you can barely uh, see the scar. Um, yeah, nobody knows I've had it. Nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Nobody. Beverly, thank you so much. Oh, gosh, you're more than welcome.